Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have two hands in my video this time. You know why? Because I'm using my tripod. Oh, yeah. Bought it. It's been sitting in its package for months, and I decided to open it, and it was incredibly easy to put together. Directions didn't exist, but it's like, wait, this looks like it goes here, this looks like it goes there, and boom, we are the DIY nation. All right, that said, <laughs> let me move on to why I'm, I'm doing this video. So I've been watching this show called Never Have I Ever on Netflix. Before I get into that, I should say that Netflix is the only platform that I'm aware of that makes any kind of effort to help the blind and visually impaired watch their videos. Uh, you can find it in the audio and subtitles section as what they have labeled as audio description. That can be confusing. I have a friend who's deaf who he got confused by. He was on a plane. He was looking for the closed captioning. Because you would think audio description is describing the audio, but it actually should be called visual description. But eh, I'm not going to get into the semantics at this time. I'm not ripping on this show personally. Um, I'm just using this as an example. I actually made a ridiculous list that over about a week of every podcast, every TV show, even in person when people would use the word blind to me, meaning ignorant, right? They didn't mean blind, they meant ignorant. Now, you know, I was blind to the fact that this, and I was blind to the fact that that, and I was so blind and blah, blah, and it's like, it hurts, it hurts a lot. What if it was your disability? What if it was something you had no control over, like the color of your skin, your accent, hell, your hair color? That you can kind of change, but not really. It'll still be that color if it grows back. You know, it's, it sucks and it hurts a lot. And I don't know why it is still okay to use the disability of blind people as a reference to mean ignorant and not mean what it actually means because they don't want to say the fact that they're ignorant. Now, whoo. Now, from the very beginning, the narrator uses blind to describe certain things. Like he said, the blindness of the referee. Um, later, he said, he, I think he said he was blindsided by something. But then in season two, episode five is the first time he said, how is Davey so blind to that? And really, he meant ignorant. Or why couldn't he just say, why didn't she see that? Why do we have to use the word of our disability? You know, it, it hurts a lot. If you don't have that disability doesn't mean crap to you, you know what I mean? And it's kind of, somebody has to say something about it. Even if it's just me here on this channel, somebody has to say something about it. And I'm just sick of it. And I, I am making an effort to even tell people in, in person when they say that, like, listen, that's pretty offensive. What if I said that about something you have no control over? You know, and people just, well, frankly, are ignorant to the fact that they shouldn't be doing that. It's pervasive throughout, you know, speech that people use. It's in movies. It's on TV and it sucks. Um, putting that aside for just a minute, I should say this show Never Have I Ever does actually a very good job of the audio description, which this particular one is done by International Digital Center. Um, what's really nice about this show, there's the narrator, which you know is already almost like an audio description, right? Or visual description. Um, but the audio description is very the well The visual done. description on Never Have I Ever really doesn't overpower the action of the show. And what, a lot of times when, they read te when these people are writing each other text messages, it's read in the voice of the actual actor. And that's part of the show, which is pretty cool. Let's say I'm going to make up names. Susie says, hey, how are you doing? And Tom says, oh, I'm doing great. Thank you. And you, you see it, like you hear it as it's showing on the screen. And then the ones that aren't, which is only a few so far. I'm in, in, you know, into season two now, but the ones that aren't read by the actual actor are read by the person who does the audio, or excuse me, the visual description. So it's a good show, but it just sucks that in this show, as in many shows, podcasts like the news, um, you know, other things you wouldn't expect it to be in, in people's daily speech, they use it uh, as it's just, totally okay and it's not I'm, I'm i'm sick of it i'm really sick of people using my disability to mean anything but my disability i'm okay with saying that i'm blind i don't need you to tell me i'm visually impaired or this or that or whatever i know my retinas are deformed you don't have to say they're differently shaped they're deformed that's why my vision is the way it is period i'm okay with it but when people use my disability to mask their ignorance i don't i'm not okay with it it's, it's time that this ends. It really is. It's not going to clap my hands and it's going to end, right? But we have to be aware of this. People have to be aware. And if we do it with kindness and love, 
it's going to be better than a bunch of hatred and nastiness and stuff that's kind of real popular these past decade or five or I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, show love to those who who are, are frankly ignorant to the fact of what they don't know and uh, just be kind to them and, and make them aware and maybe they won't do it in the future.